Hello everybody and welcome back to Bandwagon Sports. Today I'm going to be talking about five Seth Jones trades that are a real possibility, at least in my mind. You guys can disagree all you want, but these are trades that I think are pretty realistic to what I see Seth Jones being valued um, by other teams around the NHL this year. So without further ado, let's hop into today's video. And the first Seth Jones trade that I see being a real possibility is Seth Jones going to the Buffalo Sabres. Now, Buffalo, <coughs> excuse me, Buffalo is a team that has had its defensive struggles, and I do think Seth Jones can really help out uh, in, a, in a spot like Buffalo. So going to the Buffalo Sabres will be Seth Jones and Mikhail Grigorenko, a former Buffalo Sabres draft pick, and uh, in return, Columbus received a 2021 second round pick, a 2022 sixth round pick, and Brandon Montour. It does seem like a little uh, amount for Seth Jones, but that second round pick is going to be the 33rd overall pick, the first pick of the second round. And Brandon Montour is an able body defenseman in the NHL, so it may not seem like a lot, but Columbus is getting a decent return. They're getting rid of Seth Jones, and uh, Buffalo is also getting Mikhail Grigorenko, who can help as a depth center. So let's move on to trade number two. And now at trade number two, I have Seth Jones going to the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, Montreal is one of the biggest trade destinations for Seth Jones this year. Um, you know, just a really aging defensive core, especially that right side. They really do need to make a move. So I see Montreal receiving Seth Jones in exchange for defensive prospect Josh Brook, a 2021 second round pick, and Eric Stahl. And uh, this trade kind of makes sense because Columbus is receiving a top four potential defensive prospect in Josh Brook, who has played very well over his years of development. They're receiving a 2021 second round pick, which will probably be in the late 50s, early 60s. And they are receiving Eric Stahl, who can help out with that center depth, which they desperately need right now. So without further ado, let's move on to trade number three. And the third trade option I have here for Seth Jones is Seth Jones to the Chicago Blackhawks. Again, Chicago, another team that has been really, really circulating around teams that are interested in uh, acquiring Seth Jones. And I think this is probably a pretty good trade uh, if Columbus can get this return. So Chicago receives Seth Jones. And in exchange, Columbus receives Dylan Strome, a young center, Drafted third overall in 2015 behind Connor McDavid and Jack Eichel. Both those guys superstars. Dylan Strom, not so much, but a young uh, top six center for them that they could potentially develop into something. He still has time to grow. We will see what happens there. Um, they also received defensive prospect Ian Mitchell, who is 22, 23 years old. Not a bad player by any means. And another guy who has top four potential at the NHL level and also a 2021 third round pick. Um, and I think this is a really good deal because Chicago gets a great number one defenseman with that aging defensive core. It is not going good for them. And uh, in exchange, they have to give up Dylan Strome, who they who they are looking at getting rid of anyways, and also Ian Mitchell, who is you know definitely worth the price of Seth Jones, I think, for the Blackhawks. But let's move on to the fourth trade I have for you today. And trade number four is Seth Jones to the LA Kings, and the LA Kings might be the biggest trade target for Seth Jones. Uh, they may also be the biggest trade target for a Jack Eichel trade, and honestly, the biggest trade target for any player right now. But anyways, Seth Jones is going to the LA Kings, and in exchange, Columbus Blue Jackets receive a 2022 second round pick, a 2021 third round pick, and uh, defensive prospect Sean Dursey, who they acquired uh, from the Leafs in the Jake Muzzin deal a few years ago. So, you know, again, a solid return, a second round pick, a third round pick, and also a top four potential defensive prospect. I think that's really the value of Seth Jones, and it's kind of not really different than a lot of the other trades I've had for you today, just with a different prospect and slightly different picks. So let's move on to the last Seth Jones mock trade I have today. And this one's kind of a trade that I don't really see happening, but this is kind of a wild card. I think that if this happened, it would make a bit of sense for both teams. These are both guys that these teams want to get rid of. So let's do it. Arizona is going to be receiving Seth Jones. That's right. The Arizona Coyotes making a big splash out there. Um, they get Seth Jones and a 2021 fifth round pick. And uh, in exchange, they're sending over to Columbus 
uh, Captain Oliver Ekman Larson, and I've heard a bit of rumors with Oliver Ekman Larson. I don't think he's going to get traded, but they were definitely looking at the trade deadline, definitely looking in uh, last year's offseason, and I think that this might be a perfect excuse to pull the trigger on Oliver Ekman Larson, just acquiring that younger defenseman, getting rid of a guy who you don't really want around, and uh, it makes sense. But also, along with Oliver Ekman Larson, the Columbus Blue Jackets are receiving defensive prospect Cam Deneen who is steadily working his way up the AHL chains. I think he can be a good top six shutdown defenseman one day. And also they are receiving a 2022 fourth round pick. So this is more of a wild card trade that I would like to think could happen, but definitely still a possibility. The value is pr pretty even there with two able body defensemen that maybe just need a bit of a change. So anyways, those are the trades I have for you today. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, if you enjoyed, please hit the like button and subscribe. Or if you don't want to do any of that, don't worry. I'm just happy that you're here watching this video today. Um, we are on the road to 150 subscribers, though. We are 22 away. Let's go, boys and girls. Thank you so much for the support. And um, yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for today's episode. So thank you all so much for coming. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you on the flip side. Bye.